Spanish rider leaving his motorcycle and walking to a point where he could be collected by the broom wagon. Eh, motore. Says that the engine is is broken. Oh, Everything. Oh, oh, oh. It's finished. Other people in trouble further on the stage. Rocks being thrown up by passing vehicles and unseating the riders. But the medical crews once more on the scene. It hurts. Well, I don't need to translate that, do I? This rider having broken his collarbone. Ça fait une clavicule, ça fait deux clavicules. Elle est bien pétée ta clavicule. C'est ici que ça te fait mal. Ouais, ouais. Bon, allez. Well, on the radio, the medical crews radioing back to race control, informing them that he has collected these two riders. Back on board with this rider, he says it's getting serious here. These fields, I really don't like them. It's a big mess here. Some right, some left. These stones, and then the direction. People going everywhere. Northeast, southwest. When you don't know where you're going, that's not great. But when you don't know where you've come from, you haven't got a chance. This was on the stage into Tajika. Many people following a little too much the GPS rather than running it against the roadbook as well. On board with Andrea Meyer and her German co driver Andreas Schultz. Andrea, former motorcycle rider on the Dakar, giving the Mitsubishi a right hammering over these rocks. How do they build vehicles to? put up with such a hammering? Well, the answer is they do. The Mitsubishi have won the Dakar eight times so far, and they're leading one and two at the moment. But then a problem, and the co-driver dutifully getting out and having a quick look. A moment of peace and quiet, relatively speaking, in the car for Andrea. She tops up with energy drink. The camelbacks being housed in the doors of these cars and then the pipe running over by the roll cage. But at least they didn't roll a car five times. Get a load of this. This Hungarian crew, okay.